A big catch in the Florida Everglades. Two snake trappers getting their hands on a 15-foot python on Saturday. The first day of the challenge, we caught the biggest snake. Nicholas Banos and trapping partner Leonardo Sanchez driving in the car, keeping all eyes on the lookout when moments later, they'd make their phenomenal find. I saw a little gloss and I saw a big square brown patch. And automatically, I knew what it was. He goes, python, python. Second I get out of the car and I look over, it's this big python stretch right there where the, where the trees meet the water. And when we jumped at it, he goes and he grabs it by the tail. The second he grabs it by the tail, the snake starts to beeline into the trees. So he tells me, go for the head, go for the head. I'm trying to get into the trees because it's all over the place. As they wrestled for their catch, their struggle was just beginning. And I start trying to pull it so it won't go into the water and the snake just straight turns around and beelines towards my face. And that's when he came in and he jumped from behind and he grabbed it by the head and he even got nipped a couple times. Minutes later, they were finally able to get their grasp and get that snake into a massive bag and throw it in the back of their van. It's all part of the Python Challenge to help protect the Everglades. 25 people selected and commissioned by the South Florida Water Management District to kill Burmese pythons over a 60-day period. That's because they're an invasive species. Native animals, deers, uh, raccoons, whatever it is, birds, they're disappearing. They're disappearing. And it's because of the python. The goal of the challenge to get rid of as many pythons as they can. So they're decimating the environment. I figured, hey, if I can get a couple, it'd be a great adventure and be able to help the environment. But for those two men, it wasn't all satisfying. Well, we don't hunt for sport. We're not hunting to kill. We hunt to remove, you know, catch and remove. But having to kill it was, you know, a little rough. For us, we've never really had to do that before, so it was a satisfying feeling, but it was also a feeling of you know, a little bit of heartbreak.